Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x over 3 multiplied by x over 3 is equals to 3 over x and we solve this problem for the values of x. I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now you see here these two fractional terms are multiplied by each other so here we need to multiply the base with base and exponent and the denominator term with denominator. We multiply numerator term with denominator and denominator term with denominator so you see here this is x times of x becomes x square and this 3 times of 3 becomes 3 square and this is equals to 3 over x. And now in the next step we need to um, cross multiply the terms we multiply these two terms and these two terms as well uh, so that uh, here we move this x in the left hand side and it will becomes x square multiplied by x is equals to this 3 square is multiplied by 3 and now further in the next step you see here uh, this x square multiplied by x is equals to x cubed 3 square multiplied by 3 is equals to 3 cubed and now we move uh, the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes x cubed minus 3 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, this equation uh, will becomes cubic in x variable uh, so that here we can apply the cubic formula to solve this equation so uh, we know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square according to this cubic formula we will write our above cubic equation as because here you see that the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this equation and it will be written as uh, here you have this is x minus mm, our b is 3 into again we have a square so here our a is x square plus a b so a is x and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we have x minus 3 times of uh, this is x square plus 3x plus this 3 square equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we uh, divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 3 equals to 0 the second case is we write x square plus 3x plus 9 equals to 0 and now here in the first case we easily get the value of x is equals to 3 and in the second case you see here this is the quadratic equation uh, this is the, our first real solution of the given question and, and now this is the quadratic equation in order to find the other roots of the given equation we need to solve this quadratic equation so for this uh, first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b equals to 2 uh, sorry b equals to 3 and c is equals to 9 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over quadratic formula and now here we need to put the values of a, b and c in this formula. So after substituting the values it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is 3 so when you put it here it will becomes minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so b is 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here we need more simplification and it will be written as this is minus 3 plus minus square root of this is 3 square 
3 square becomes 9 minus 4 times of 9 divided by 2. And now you see here inside uh, the square root sign we have 9 be the common term so that we will take common 9 from inside the square root and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2. And now here in the next step uh, you see here uh, the square root of 9 uh, is equals to 3 into square root of this is 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 equals minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And now here further uh, we need to break again this square root and we can apply this square root on negative and 3 term so it will be written as minus 3 plus minus 3 times of square root of 3 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So that in the next step uh, we uh, write this term as here you have x is equals to uh, first this is minus 3 and plus minus 3 times of uh, square root of 3 and here we know that a square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. And now here in the next step uh, we need to break this equation and it will be written as minus 3 over 2 plus minus 3 times of a square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So from here uh, we have uh, two complex roots which we get from uh, in the second equation. So uh, here the three roots of the given equation are the first root is real root so it is x1 equals 3 the second root is complex root and it is x2 is equals to minus 3 over 2 plus 3 times of square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 and the third root is the minus 3 over 2 minus 3 times of a square root of 3 over 2 into iota. So these are the three uh, roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.